from the urns, we know from this, there's tens if not hundreds of thousands of dead Chinese. There's also the ones that live through the ability to be to be on the on the on the ventilators are not in great shape. These people that are so family oriented couldn't see could not see the, the burials of their people. Radio Free Asia reported Radio Free Asia, which is so politically correct, they're part of the Voice of America. They reported that there were people burned alive in the in the incinerators. That the Chinese did, the Communist Party has zipped up the bags and sent them there just to get rid of them because they couldn't be saved, okay? And it's incumbent upon Dr. Birx to sit there, and when a guy like Stephanopoulos is asked you the question, come up with the facts. Don't give me the spin. You're spinning for the World Health Organization. You're not paid by the World Health Organization. You don't represent the World Health Organization. You represent the people of the United States, and you represent the free people throughout the world who the free Chinese, if they had listened to the free Chinese, none of this would have happened, okay? None of the people in Wuhan would be dead. None of the people in Ube province. None of the people in South Africa and in India and in Italy and in Spain and in Brooklyn and Queens. It would have all been, we had the resources, we had the potential, we had all the ability to stop it, to stop it, to stop it. This came upon because the World Health Organization and Tedros, Tedros, who we were told in, in the second or third episode, from people, Dave Ramaswamy and others that work with this guy in East Africa, he's a bad hombre. He's a running dog and a mouthpiece for the Chinese Communist Party. He went to Beijing and did the whole tap dance. He should be removed immediately. The United States should demand its money back. And we don't need the spin and the happy talk of Dr. Burks. It also, Steve, outlines the insidious nature of the Communist Party of China and how it affects world bodies and how it affects world organizations that we have to rely on. These are unelected bodies. Now, back to Steve's point, it was the free Chinese who went there on December 31st. They had to go through diplomatic channels because they, by law, had no communication with the World Health Organization. Yet, as citizens of the world, the free Chinese of Taiwan went to the World Health Organization because it would benefit the world. Notice the difference between free China and communist China.